This video is going to be a little bit of a mess um, because I want to do everything real time without editing so you see that I'm actually doing it and I'm not fudging stuff. Um, and it's also going to be me complaining about people. So quite often I will text somebody something, a link to a web page for example, and they'll ask me to email it to them so they can open it on their computer. Which drives me crazy. Because if you're not already getting your text messages on your computer, I don't know what you're doing with your life. No, seriously though, it, it's so inconsiderate to ask me to email it to you. Because even, even if you don't have your text messages going to your computer, if they go to your phone, you should be able to copy and paste that to your computer. And people don't realize your phone is a computer. I say that to people, they go, oh, you have a kind of, no, your phone is a computer. Almost everything you do on your desktop computer, you should be able to do on your phone. I say almost everything because these, all these phones have stupid permissions on them that prevent certain things from happening. But 99% of what you do on your desktop, you should be able to do on your phone using the same software, not different applications. But I'm going to give you some examples. I'm going to use KDE Connect, but also realize there's lots of options out there. In fact, if you're using an Android device, and I'm not telling you what software to use, but the default message application that Google provides, you open that up for texting, you open up the web browser, go to a page and scan the QR code, and all your texts automatically go to that computer in the web browser, and you can reply and read all your texts. But we're going to look at KDE Connect. And again, I'm going to be bringing the phone up here a lot. It's going to be kind of messy, but I want to do this all real time. So I'm recording my screen. I'm recording with the camera here. Let me open up my gallery here and open up a picture I took a few minutes ago. So this is a picture of me, right? And pretty much everything you have on your phone, you have the little share button, right? The little share button. I'm going to press that and it brings up options. And if you look right here, one of them, there's a little black icon with a K gear, the KDE gear. So that's showing me different devices I have on the local network that are running KDE Connect that I've linked to. And all I have to do is watch this. I click that. Boom. And you see how fast that happened? It is now on my desktop computer. It goes into whatever folder you set up. I have it set up to go to my downloads folder. I can click on that. There's that photo. So I can send any file to my computer just by clicking the share button. Whatever program, whether I'm a file manager, my, my photo manager, whatever, I can share. Here's another example though. Watch this. I'm going to go to my website, filmsbychris.com, right? So we're on my website here. And you want to share this website with somebody, right? So you click your little menu there, and down at the bottom, you have that same little share icon right there, right? Watch what happens when I click that. I click that, and it brings up a menu here, and one of the options is this KDE Connect again. Watch what happens when I click it. As soon as I click it, boom, on my desktop, it opens up that web page in my default web browser. That's all I have to do. If there's a URL on here, I text you a URL, you open it up and go, oh, I want to see that looks at my desktop. Share. Boom. It's on your desktop. There's no reason not to do this. Or something similar. Here's another example. I am going to copy some text. So let me go ahead and highlight some text on my phone from my website. It could be text in anything, in a, in a Word document, a PDF, uh, a website. So I have that highlighted. I'm going to click. Well, if I click share, Again, it brings up the KDE Connect right here. I'm going to click that, and it opened up a text editor on my computer. I put that text into the text editor. But let me highlight it again. I'm going to highlight it, and this time, instead of share, I'm going to say copy. Let's say I'm on my phone and I want to copy it for something. I click copy, so it's copied. And I'm doing whatever on my phone. Now, I'm like, oh, you know what? I also want to put that on my, on my computer. I can pull down my... Uh, notification tabs up here and I don't know if this is in focus KDE Connect you have two options here you have send clipboard and send file so send file it opens up your file manager you can choose a file and send it just like we did you know sharing it with the uh, image gallery but the send clipboard if I click that send clipboard now it's in the clipboard on my uh, desktop all I have to do is hit paste. It copied whatever text. It could be a whole paragraph, a whole page worth of text. I say send clipboard. I just paste it into whatever program I'm in over here. You can send text. You can receive text. All my notifications show up on my, on my desktop computer. If there's a URL in there, I can choose the URL. Uh, what other features? Oh, so it also works the other way. So I can open up the KDE, the KDE Connect application. And you can see there's some menus in here. 
So one send file, which we've already looked over. Slideshow remote, so I guess if you're doing some sort of slideshow, you can use it as a remote. Media controls, so if you're using certain media players, you can control it. But the two I use the most is down here, run command and remote input. So what's run command? So you, you can type in whatever commands you can run on your computer. So anything, anything you can do at your desktop computer or laptop, you can add as a command in here and it's a single button. So whatever I want to do, I can use this as a remote. Boom, run this command, run this command, run this command. But you also have this, you click remote input and it brings up this thing with just words on it. But watch this, watch my screen over here. Where's my, let me, I got two screens. Let me bring it over here. Look, look. I'm controlling this. It's now a mouse uh, touchpad, right? I can click on stuff and I can click on here. I can bring up the keyboard and now I can start typing. And I can use my phone as a keyboard. I don't use the keyboard uh, option very much, although I could. I uh, do use the, the mouse option a lot, especially if I'm over at my scanner. It's a network scanner. So I fly up my mouse over here to the scan button. I go over there, I lay a page down because it's not a feed scanner. Put a page down, just tap the screen, it scans it. Put the next page on, tap the screen. So from across the house, I can scan without having to go to the scanner and come back and press buttons. Before that, I actually had a, a remote script that I would SSH in and run. But this is so much easier, just click in there. So again, KDE is just one option. I feel like there's more that I can show you. There's definitely more that it does. Um, I believe it has functionality to access your camera and stuff like that, but I haven't really looked into that. Um, it has had text message uh, options for a while. They just added SMS so you can send photos and videos, I guess. I haven't played with that yet. Sometimes it can be a little quirky. Um, again, Android devices have weird permissions, so sometimes things don't work like you would want them to. You have to allow a lot of things when you install this and don't get me going on how stupid app and app application specific permissions are but if you don't have some way to move stuff I mean literally if I text you something and you want to see it on your computer and you can't do that you should at least be able to copy that URL put it in an email and email it to yourself but you're complicating things and that's what people do they, they think doing s simple things like this are confusing but then they'll do stupid stuff like that Listen to me, if you're not using KDE Connect or something like that, you should start. And all your devices should be connected. I don't care if I'm at my laptop, desktop, tablet, or phone, I can access all my files from all those devices securely, not going through some media. I mean, if you want to set up some service, you want to use Google Drive, I mean, that's that's your call. But there's no reason to do that when you can sync things automatically. And you don't have to sync things. You can just access your files remotely. There's so many different ways to do it. This video isn't about how to do it. It's just showing you that you can do it. And again, it might sound like I'm complaining, but people who don't do this but then expect me to take my time to send you messages twice I know it doesn't sound like much but it's annoying especially since some of the people that I've talked to about this I go you know I can show you how to get your text messages on your oh I don't want my text messages on my computer because then they're gonna they're gonna be popping up and bothering me personally I'd rather them show up on my computer while I'm sitting there than have to pull out my phone and see who's texting me every single time and the thing is you can silence it at any point the thing is you're getting your text why not Get them at the machine you're working at instead of having to stop and go to another machine constantly. Anyway, might sound like I'm complaining a bit, but this is how I feel. And I don't know if people just don't realize this is an option, but again, your phone is a computer and all your computers should be connected. We're all connected to the internet. We're all connected to a local network. And again, they're going to be like, oh, don't use cloud services, which I'm 100% for cloud services that you run yourself, but that's not even what I'm talking about. I'm just talking about direct communication. No reason not to, especially if you're on the same local network, but even if you're remotely, you should be able to access your files. It's not that hard. Literally, KDE, KDE, you install KDE Connect on your computer. It's in the repositories. You install it on your phone. You say, you know, link these devices. They share a security key, and then everything's encrypted, all the stuff it does back and forth. So thanks for watching me rant about this for a little bit, but uh, that's it. I hope that you have a great day.